Hi, this is Rick Rogers at Doomsday Tank Models. Thanks for joining me. What we'll be covering this uh, round is that uh, this episode is I found a new uh, tool for Zimmeret that covers 135th, 148th, and 172nd scale. Uh, it's a company out of China. I'm still, this is going to be my first Zimmeret venture with Epoxy Putty learning from others on on YouTube as well so I'm just I'm gonna update you on this tool see what you think of it and a couple improvements I've made on the tool itself that I think uh, long run will make it um, last a lifetime so um, I'm just gonna show you what I got going and uh, see what you think let's get uh, into this So this is a better look at the tool. You can uh, get different aspects of it, what it looks like. As you can see, it's very easy to put together, very well mapped out on what to do. These are different things you can do on the model to make that Zimmerit effect. Some examples of the different patterns too. And a real life example on the real tank. It really makes it look sharp. Okay, so this is the tool from a Chinese company. By the way, the delivery is very fast, usually within two weeks. Ironically, it takes the longest is once it gets to the United States to actually get to your home. But from mainland China, it comes pretty fast. This is um, 3D printed. And basically, it's got a wheel. And... Um, I believe this is the 148 scale. I've tried to get an answer from the company on this because, let me get the rest up in this shot. They have some wheels that are 0 0.07 and some that are 0 0.05 and they're not marked 135th, 148th, and 172nd. I figure one of the, the 07 could be another 135th and the 05 hopefully is the 148th. Someone more intelligent out there, please, in the comments, let me know what that is. I can't, I've Googled it, and I have uh, tried to ask the company. They were confused as what I was asking, and once I clarified it, I didn't get an answer for them back. So, I don't know what the story is on that. It's an interesting tool, and um, these are stamps that... Um, you can put it in the bottom hand. What's neat about this tool, it's got the hand stamp for tight areas. And then it's got the wheel for the big areas. So it's it's a tool in one. So all I have to do is just turn it around and uh, do what you can from there. So this is what I've done so far practicing. So far, I think I like the one on the right better. It's a little tighter. And I'm just trying to get the pattern right here. Uh, for a first timer trying to get this done, I don't think it looks half bad. And I think uh, it's gonna be something I'm proud to have in my model once I get it going. And I have started the back of the vehicle where the exhaust system is. It looks a little rough right here because I'm just playing with different putties. Uh, starting in the back, I think would be better for me, the back of the model, and um, since more things are gonna be on it anyway, and uh, just use the, the rear hole as a learning process, so it's not intermarried very well, as you can see, but I'm just um, trying to learn through that and then doing some further stuff on um, big areas with the wheel. So hopefully this will work out well where I can give you a, a demonstration on this. I'm going to spray this a little bit of water. Sorry, I had to take that off camera. I squirted too much water on it. Anyway. 
So hopefully this will be clear for you. And you just kind of take the wheel and go like that. And use moderate pressure, it seems. So that's just a demonstration for you. The harder you press, the better it's going to get. Let's see if I can't do one more. That's a little more distinct. There you go. So once you get the right pressure involved and the right amount of water on top of your epoxy putty, the impressions are pretty good. And I'm just going to have to learn how to get them about the same width because of the pressure I'm using. So I don't know. It's um, Once I get this going, the next thing I'm going to do is start it on the Porsche um, Turret Tiger II on the sides. I've textured a little bit so that I figured it would grab onto the party a little better. I've outlined where the door is going to be to not bother putting Zimmer at there. And uh, I kind of like that texture that the tap method with a brush with uh, plastic glue, it really gets a nice texture on there versus uh, I even did the top a little bit. But if you look at the top of the hatch, I didn't touch that, how smooth it is. And just it's just nice to add a little texture for a little more realism. So... So this is one I started with another kind of tool, also a useful tool, uh, the trumpeter. I'm not even sure this is the right scale. It looks pretty close to me. Also maybe 172nd, but this is what I did <coughs> as part of the mantlet, excuse me. And I actually like this so far. And it comes with a hand stamp as well. So I'm trying back and forth both systems and to see what looks better. And what I mentioned before about improving it, so if you uh, the nuts at the back, if once you assemble it, it's very easy. Just put a little thin glue in there and hit it with some accelerator then all you have to do is screw it in and out. So if you have to make some adjustments in here, this will stay in. And I mostly made this for this part right here. When I first got it, and I thinned, I thinned the wheel down a little bit. I can't seem to find a screw that's a little bit longer at a hardware store. But there seems to be a lot of play in it and it would fall apart. So now that I've, I've thinned the wheel through, through doing some sanding, it seems to be behaving itself for now. And it's got a little ridge there for the handle to keep your finger on it nice on both sides. It's very lightweight, very small. And the back hand stamp and, and the combination of the wheel, it, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to be sharing this as I go along. Um, my first Zimret project. Tiger 2. And I'm I, it's something new to do and it, it it never ceases to amaze me. I just I don't get bored. I just get involved in something else and try to get good at it. So anyway, anyway, I'm going to try to keep you more updated on the Tiger 2 with Porsche turret and I also have the Tiger 2 with Henschel turret that I just uh, put a paint job on that is in my last video. And I will be doing probably uh, both progress on those so you know what's happening. Um, and I keep you updated anything, any techniques that I have that may help you. Hopefully they will. So I want to thank you for continuing to watch my program. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. And please, if you like what you see, if you're interested in seeing more and interesting subjects, let me know in the comments. But please like, subscribe, and share. 
and when you subscribe please make sure you smash it and hit that black bell that just signifies you'll get all content from me if you would like to do so so thank you very much thank you to all my subscribers uh, new friends old friends family and everybody out there thank you for watching what I put out thank you very much bye bye